Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Nobunaga's Ambition, Sphere of Influence. On a mysterious JG. I don't think I'm finishing this Let's Play in this recording session after all, but I've had a lot of fun playing this game today. I hope you've had some fun watching. Um, it's a foregone conclusion that we're going to win, but there's still a little neat twist. Like the, I go out of my way to let them approach so that we're not seen as the aggressors. And I didn't recognize that the Suzuki clan are the Saika. Should have recognized that it's the same uh, symbol, but for whatever reason, they're, they're using slightly different names here. Uh, but the Saika, yeah, Magoichi Saika, like the famous, he's like the fucking Han Solo of the Sengoku Jedi, at least in uh, the Kowai games. He fucking leads this, like, sneak attack, takes out Ryo Ryotoshi, who's, yeah, he's had a rough time. He's got great stats, but, like, he seems to have had a pretty rough career. I remember him being in fights, uh, helping Karakumo Castle, but it seemed like, you know, he would, like, he had a, he had an officer under his command die on the way to battle once, and, and he, he tends to be in these fights where there's, like, you know, just slugfests where both sides lose a lot of troops, but, like, he just marches, he's here trying to stop anyone from interfering in the assault on Ishiyama Temple, and the Saika just come in and fucking, um, Watch this sneak attack uh, when we were not declared enemies in any way and take him out. And I'm, I'm really happy that he didn't die. Although, actually, if he had died, it would have been a really dramatic turn for the sort of story of this Let's Play. Uh, and then we'd have a blood flute feud with the Psycho. A blood flute. We'd have a blood f with the Psycho. A blood flute with the Psycho. We'd have a blood, flu flu a blood feud with the Psycho. Now, we're still going to have to take the Psycho out because the Takeda were sh kind of... Not shamed so much, but yeah, like that would be a thing where in the samurai world you would need to uh, go and avenge for sure. But um, in the meantime, there's this one castle up here whose hit points are not at max and I'm just not allowed to repair them. Although actually, it looks like, yeah, the reason I couldn't go repair them manually is because I'd probably set someone to repair the hit points and then forgot about it. And then now it's, it has finally happened in the background. All right, but it's time for a combat turn. We are besieging... Um, Nobunaga isn't involved, which I think is funny. We launched one little attack, did a few hit points damage, and then I realized, oh, the soldier, the hit points go down, not the soldiers. Never mind. So we've... And... Uh, the Saika... Oh, that's the actual ruler of the Saika clan. And that's... Uh, Magoichi. We should, we should attack them before... Uh, like, when we're done with this. Masa, Masako Hayami should go avenge Ryo Ryotoshi. But yeah, we've got a couple places uh, encircled. We've got a fight here that I'm not going to bother to... Uh, I'll let the, the AI fight it out. But uh, we're we're making some... Pro Fuck, these guys are back! Well, let's just see what happens. I'm not going to break off to defend. I'll just see if they're going to pursue or not because they might not let's decide what to do with the captives oh uh motokiyo araki is smarter than the rest of these guys he's also progressive and he's he's the only progressive one in this group but he's also the only one who's going to join the ultra conservative clan that we are please decide who you wish to execute I'm deeply honored that you would choose me. Look how honored I look. I look like I can't believe you're here and you smell like onions and I'm disgusted by you. You would take pity on me? Thank you. Well, these jerks are going to interfere, but we might just win before they can. Nope. Fuck! We had it! Oh! It was there! It was like one tick! And we, and we get this castle that it feels like we've been trying to take for the last five videos. Understood. Yeah, the Asakura, we need to fucking kill these guys. I've had it with them. Leave it to me. I'm so tired of those motherfuckers. Alright, Ogbond is like not even... This is how and he's eccentric, done. but he's uncontrollable. Ogmon, fuck, destroy, Ogmon, kill. 
they are concentrating on getting murdered by this cavalry charge. Let's go. Augmont, destroy. <laughs> I sure hope that that uh, siege doesn't begin fresh now. Yeah, we're destroying the gates again because fuck these guys. They're not the actual clan, but uh, I, I I'm I'm over it. All right, lethal, you go take them out. Agmond, you finish the siege, and hopefully they they pick back up where they were, which was like with nothing left on the we are still able to fight meter. And, uh... Can't wait till we get the Vulture Clan up here and start building this shit up. Because, uh, Vulture Clan, with the aid of, uh, Mitsuhide Akechi, uh, which is not ironic, because it's kind of interesting to me. Mitsuhide and, uh, the Vulture Clan are going to be the ones who basically finish off the Honganji in the north. And we're about to finish them off in the south. Throw down your weapons! The Shiyama Temple now belongs to Gnactor! The power of the Reckless trait. Punitive expedition to destroy, uh... Magoichi, and then Nobunaga will attempt to destroy... Sadayu. And actually, I think what would be interesting is if he tries to flee, uh, he's going to probably run into Mas Masako. Alright, okay, well, and we are at the same level on the meter up here, so that's cool. Lethal, we'll see if he can get these guys to retreat. I think either way, once we have troops at Odani Castle, I think we uh, march on Kanagasaga Castle. That is not the... That is... I don't think it's the main... The main base... Yeah. Ichichi Jodani Castle, I think, is the main base of the uh, Asakura. But they've marched a lot of troops out of it. Uh, I think taking uh, Kanagasaga Castle will weaken them pretty significantly. But yeah, it's time. It's time. We need to get rid of this clan. They've been a thorn in our side for way too long. They need to go. Funny, this whole coalition thing, we're getting more and more enemies. <laughs> Run if you want. Nochutasima. Sorry, Nochisem. Nochisayama Castle is now ours. Victory cries, everyone. I've gained the reckless traits and the fortitude traits, and we've wiped out an entire clan. Enemy officer apprehended. Didn't have a whole lot of officers in it, though. And this is this is a, another. It's like a really nice base for us potentially. You can see all the districts it's got, but I don't know how much we'll end up doing with it. We will let you head for home. Uh, and after after Lethal starts this fight, he will start in on Kanagasaki Castle. We're about to take Tsutsui Castle too, the, which is the main castle of the Tsutsui clan. Over. Like of Toshikatsu with coast units, nothing. Guy had a really sweet helmet. Let's get going. Let's Man, these castles are falling like flies now. Tsutsui Castle is now ours. So I've picked up the yogurt. Shade. Enemy officer apprehended. Break them. Break them. A birthday present. I like them. That's not. That doesn't make sense, Sushi. One of my favorite little mystery science theater lines of all time. <laughs> I've got so many lines I love from that show, but just this little, little thing in passing. Time of the Apes. This evil military character who is ordering his troops to pursue our heroes says, Get them! And Joel goes, Oh, birthday present. I like them. It, maybe it's just present. I think it was birthday present specifically. All right. Looks like, uh... Sadayu Suzuki, the leader of the Psycho uh, Renegades, has decided to stand and fight. And he's even got a, a tribal unit with a named commander with him. No, that's... Never mind, that's another unit. We are the ones who are fighting with tribals. He's decided to stand and fight. Let's uh, see if uh, he's a match for uh, the Demon King Nobunaga.
Understood. Who I think needs to get so that his back is not right against the river, but otherwise... Does not want to advance too quickly because he's waiting for his backup. Begin. And he's advanced too quickly, probably. Oh, that's right, it's him and Toshiye and... Uh, Let's just let's just avoid using our tactic right away. Put everything we've got into these arrows. Draw them back so we can get get our aid. That's annoying, because that weakened my defense. Yuki clan was limited by the Hojo clan, so they finally took that city. Good for them. All right. So we use triple shooting to increase the uh, ranged attack of us and our allies, and uh, and now they are using their muskets. Oh, but they're coming in and meleeing me. They're going to get defeated, but seems the Hojo clan was able to reinforce this if requested. Good for them. So Nobunaga taking some losses, but he is going to defeat the Suzuki clan. Punish them for their treachery. And we'll have Nobunaga withdraw after this. Because, I mean, his mission, along with that of many, many other units, was to take Nijo Palace and try to clear out the uh, enemies nearby. And there's still enemy forces around here, but he's... He's kind of... They've kind of done what they set out to do. This fight's taking a minute. Meanwhile, Makoichi also standing and fighting here. Let's go. But uh, yeah, Masa Masako Hayami is a beast. She tends to she tends to get involved in melee and have rapid troop losses on both sides. But like, she's she was designed not as a glass cannon, but like as a well, almost, I guess almost a class cannon. She does this vanguard warrior thing where she gets fast and powerful early. And you just want to, like, just take advantage of it. We, I think we just charge right in. Because they're going for uh, range stuff. They are, after all, rifle unit. We're just going to charge right in. And they're continuing with ranged attack. I think we continue. Well, no, we're can't. We're already executing, I guess. I guess I can do spe keen spear arts in the middle of it, which I probably should have done earlier. But yeah, sure, whatever. This can't be great. No, it's really not. Ryu, Ryu, Toshi, and I were lovers. How dare you? It's making shit up now. <laughs> Who's that? That's uh, Tadakatsu. Yeah, his portrait is enough like Ryu, Ryu, Toshi that for a minute I was like, wait, did Ryu, Ryu, Toshi sneak in here to get revenge? Yes, keep doing diplomacy. She took a, she took some losses there, but again, she did take out more troops than she lost, and got us a big win. I think the thing to do with her is to press on towards uh, 
Kishiwata Castle, because uh, these forces are eventually going to make their way through and get these other castles. I don't know, it's going to take a little while to wipe out uh, the Miyoshi. They had quite a few castles, but we've made really good progress. We've got them certainly on the ropes. Uh, we're not going to actually get rid of all of their presence in Honshu uh, unless we get the Mori to join our alliance <laughs> because uh, they've got one base on Honshu that's like there's three clans between us and them. But um, it's kind of all going our way right now. But no, we, we're going to run out of steam before we completely clear that entire valley. But we took Nijo Palace and I think we've reached the point where... We've reached the point where uh, our gains are secure. Advance. Lethal not really wanted to let the tribes fight for him. Acknowledged. So we'll we'll just let him do his thing. He usually gets in close, uses tiger trap tactic, and uh, Leave it to me. she's lowered our speed. Tiger hunting. That lures them in, so our, our reduced speed won't matter if they're tricked into coming after us. Can you bear to my fatal attack? This raises uh, this raises our uh, range, which I don't care about, but it also lowers their defense, which I do. Although they might have already had that because of tiger hunting. I didn't pay that much attention. Anyway, Lethal's going to win this one, uh, obviously. Retreat. The big question is, is he going to lose enough force that it's not worth having him go pester that castle? Because right now I've got him just kind of moving in to keep the pressure on Kanagasaga. Yeah, Yagyu's finally been defeated. Seems like that took a while, but again, I just refuse to zoom in and manually control it. I'll see how that goes. In the meantime, uh, now I'm seeing we're not going to get both of these castles unless she gets them both. So maybe we we go here. And you got have you guys decided you want uh, a piece? Because right now I didn't think we were at war with you. No, I don't know what you're doing here unless you decided you want to you want to jump on this too. Okay, they're not in part of the coalition, so it looks like the coalition's not going to help them. But uh, this can't be the same. These are the Utsuyamiya. This is this is Hirotsuno Utsuyamiya, Lord of Utsuyamiya Castle, which is part of the Utsuyamiya clan holdings. But yeah, between between me taking this and the Hojo taking that, and they, there's only this one base left in, in all those little weird clans that had the same uh, logo. These guys have a different color scheme. And it's actually a slightly different logo, too. They, these guys have this weird, like, these three things pointing towards each other. They have that with two lines over the top of it, so I don't know what's going on with these logos, but they are a bit different. They have some common design elements. I don't know why I came up here and then decided to... Okay, Akamatsu clan just attacked us. So I'm going to switch orders to attack them so that she doesn't get caught in a fucking sneak attack again. Alright, there's no the sneak attack was a rousing success, which I was a little worried about, honestly. Leave it to me. Well, these guys have sealed their fate. Now this is one more clan, one more, because they have a vassal too. This is one more group that I can 
I can go after with no sense of I feel like a bully. I'm going after Oh, it's snowing, so we can't use horses, eh? Greatly increases melee. Oh, I got two people with the same um, skill here. This is where it ends. Mm -hmm. Now they've already got this all raised from whatever the other tactic is. Like once we get it, like I, I think I've been wasting skill points raising the same thing that's already raised. So when that wears off, keen spear arts. But right now it's already in effect. All I'd be doing, all I'm doing is resetting the counter. But yeah, like she got attacked by a lot of forces. She's fought three or four different different uh, clans since this started. Now she has Tarakotsu helping, of course. But uh, she's now at less than half the strength she started. So I was talking about what a massively powerful force she... Uh, and that's true. But. <laughs> not infinite, you know? I think it, it would be nice if we took out Takaya Castle and uh, Shigesan Castle just to kind of not have an enemy force sitting behind the sort of border we've established. And that kid of Atake again. Like, I'm trying to find ways to use them, but nah, they, they helped us. They they distracted some of the forces of the uh, I don't remember what they were called. Uh, the Bird Logo Clan guys who had Kanoji Castle. And uh, they took some castles from the Yoshi, but at the end of the day, I'm either going to just let them sit there for the rest of the game, or I might decide, you know what, let's just betray them and take their castles so that we have uh, a higher castle count and can win. Karakomo Castle, yeah, I feel bad about this one because we were their allies for a long time, but it is what it is, and that's all what it is. Karasawayama Castle is now ours. Victory, guys, everyone. Game in the Reckless Trades. Sano Clan is limited by the top. Enemy clan. officer apprehended. This would have been a good place to put Vulture Clan too, actually, because it's, this is going to be a seriously frontline city now in the new Understood. war with the Date uh, Alliance, the Alliance and Takadamania, because we really don't have a lot of other cities that are going to be very close to them. And that's why I took this city, because we don't have a lot of places where we can engage them without marching a long-ass way before we get to their lands. Well, I need to go after the Uesugi, too, but I'm kind of happy to like, like that, let that one sit for a bit. Fraxis Dilak. She will be le leading the vanguard as we finally attack the Uesugi eventually. Impregnable and reckless. I am now of age. Please use my life for the sake of our clan. Kikuhime, daughter of Shingen Takara. She married Kagakatsu. I'm Kagakatsu. When the Takara and Uesugi alive, the entire Uesugi family valued her highly for both her beauty and wit, calling her Lady Kai. Oh, this is Kai. Okay, she's one of those people who I only know about because of Samurai Warriors. And Samurai Warriors, she's the, quote, bear princess. She has big, <laughs> really big hair. And, uh... She fights with, like, a chain whip kind of deal. But, like, yeah, her whole personality is supposed to be that she's loud and brazen. And um, she's really loyal to Lady Hayakama, or whatever her name is, of the... Uh... Yeah, she's just part of... Like, they didn't have enough characters who were on the Hojo side. Is this... Maybe this isn't Kai, because Kai's whole deal was that she was involved with the Hojo. But, like, she continues to be in the story after the Hojo fall. That's a common thing with the ladies in Samurai Warriors, because... You know, they're, they're married, so all the male characters will get killed off when a clan falls, but the women who came from that family are married into other families and still get to float around. And since samurai warriors seldom delves into who married who, <laughs> you can have, like, uh, Kai and Gracia, like, floating around doing shit after the clans they came from are no more, because historically they were still alive. Anyway, this may or may not be Kai. Uh, the fact that they gave her 
58 for Valor, suggests she's not, because for whatever reason, well, maybe she is. In Samurai Warriors, Kai is supposed to be this, like, really strong, aggressive fighter type person. And even other playable female characters are like, they're like, oh, I don't like combat. And Kai is like, ah, let me at him. So this may or may not be who she's supposed to be. I'm confused. If that is your fate, I can only accept it, daughter of mine. Heir to my military mind, fight at my side. Yeah, I don't think... I, I'm trying to remember if they explain who Kai's uh, parents are in those games. She's just she's just hanging around with a Hojo. So I think this must be, this must be different, because I think they would have mentioned if her dad was Shingen. It would, it would at least somehow be part of her character. Many of our retainers have gained new skills. Let Sweet. us begin the meeting. Reporting in. We've got various castles surrounded. Here's last month's balance. Reporting in. Various tribes support us. Seems a ronin or two in our lands. It's been a while. It's been a while. Got, I've got castles that can expand. Several castles can expand. Oh, we've been... Ah, damn it. I didn't realize. I forgot. We've been doing diplomacy with Kitabatake clan so that we could give them orders, but they're not bordering anybody. They can't. We can't use them right now. All right. Here we go. We can get the Chosakabe to join the coalition. I don't think the Mori will be joining, uh, unfortunately. The Nanbu, who I'm hoping for, it'll be next turn, probably. But if we get the Chosakabe to join, we can have them start attacking the Miyoshi from behind. The Miyoshi will be caught between us and uh, fucked. Send a messenger to invite Chosakabe clan to join the coalition to destroy Tate Mania. All right, Nagashima, Ancho, and Gifu. Well, Gifu already has their facility, so we can do whatever we want here. And I think the correct answer, uh, the plan all along was probably um, Cargaman here and Conscripts here, here, and here. So let's start with conscripts. Serfina ended up here. And I guess kind of got forgotten. That's a really good castle. But if I go through with my plan to turn the Oda territory and the Kyoto territory over to the AI and concentrate on our starting territories, plus, plus a lot, <laughs> to be frank, and like run that for the rest of the LP, then that will make a huge difference as to how much Gifu Castle matters, because it'll suddenly be... I won't be controlling it anymore. It won't matter. Official Trader. We need a lot more gold out of the city before it can be an official trader. We will probably never get there, to be honest. Well, let's pay lip service to the idea. We'll, we won't even research what I should... Probably agriculture is what I should be doing there, but we will go straight to commerce. Because I'm sure it'll be really, really good at commerce once we've got the new... We're like, if it's got a commerce-specific thing, it can build because of uh, the special resource. On the show. They called me my concho. And this has... We don't care what facilities... Uh, you can't build any facilities of any real interest. So, what do we want? When do we want it now? Uh, let's build conscripts here so that we can get to this next time and do whatever the hell we're going to do with it. Right, we've got uh, Ronan to hire. Saizo Gani. We've got uh, a new base or two. We've got three new bases, actually. Let's 
This guy's finally available. Huzzah. Loyalty boost for the jerks who don't want to work for me. Still a bit, like, it, important earlier in the game. Now it's like, I can just put them, like, I've got enough territory. I don't have to worry about them being poached. Now it's just a habit. He's already the lord of the castle, so you... Nah, Ashiyama Temple is too important to give to some guy just based on the fact that... So we'll, we'll give that to somebody who actually kind of deserves it, probably. So I don't know why we're starting with him, other than maybe M Manoa has a lot of officers. His stats aren't that high either. Midori Takeda. Is it Tsutsugasaki? I don't think... She's a really good officer overall. Her poll is her lowest score. We don't need her there, but I like the I like the idea of this manly warrior monks of the Buddhist temple, and it's like he sends his daughter to run the place. Or Lady Kai could take over. That would be fun, too. She's also got a much better poll score, so let's put her in charge. And her sister's like, Wait, I've been serving you faithfully for years. You immediately give my little sister this post? What the fuck, man? It's like Jesus language, daughter. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll go ahead and get these ordered just so that I don't forget about them. But in fact, Colin Awarisana probably has better things he should be doing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I didn't realize how many bases I had to survey. And I have yet more base. Well, I have yet more base that needs. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Now the other daughter gets to be in charge. Okay, fine. You get to be in charge of a base, too. Yay, daddy. All right. But that got rid of that little thing that says you've got bases with no people. What are you doing, you maniac? Uh... We're at the point now where, yeah, I'm no longer, uh... Some of those cities that I used to be able to draw officers from are no longer swimming in officers. I don't know who... Nagama, Nagazumi Jinbo, I'm curious about him now, because he's got a 9, 8 leadership score, and a terrible Valor score. Nagazumi Jinbo... He must be, like, some famous historical, like, weasel or something. Okay. I know we got better things to be doing, but... He bit strong loyalty. From a powerful family in Echu, he wandered briefly after his father chased him off, then helped Nobunaga Oda rule Echu. Eventually, Motoshige Kojima imprisoned him in Toyama Castle. Okay, well, I... I, I don't feel like I understand his story from this, but that's okay. We're gonna call it a video. When we come back next time, I do need to remember we've got uh, to assign some officers to some of those cities. Because I got them a lord. There's at least one officer in each one, but they really don't have that much. And uh, when we come back next time, though... Um, well, I mean, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing, I guess. Catch you guys next time.